The wind has been howling the past few days. We decided to go hunting right off of a highway here. Hunting season is on. May 1st is sort of an opener, Larry Lonick, in a way. It's the beginning of morel mushroom season. That's right. And how many mushroom hunters do we have in this state? Oh, about 600,000. That's a, quite a healthy army. No guns, no uh, fishing tackle, no uh, spears. No license. No license, no nets, anything. What, what we're taking here is a paper bag to put the mushrooms in. I carry a day pack with me when I go outdoors, Larry. If we were going to go on an expedition, you know, say all day long, I'd put a lunch in here. Now I have some first aid supplies. A compass. That's right, a compass. And I got my compass right on here. This is a pin on compass. Compass, very important when you go mushroom hunting because we know where this road is that we started from. Mm -hmm. And if we get lost by chance, all we have to do is get back to the road. And we are, the road is to the south to us, so we'll walk back south and we'll be all set. You ever been lost mushroom hunting? I get lost every year. <laughs> I mean, this is something serious. And if this happens towards evening, you're in trouble. So all you need is a compass. You have a walking staff. Mm -hmm. This is to uh, move some of the branches out of the way to look for morels, but also to keep uh, raspberry bushes and things like that from scratching you up. Okay, well, this is all you need for mushroom hunting. And as a Tree said, uh, you don't need a license either. True, true. His nickname is Tree. He has a book coming out on mushrooms. Uh, why do they call him Tree? Well, actually, I've been standing up on the hill right here. He's one tall fella, but we're going to go mushroom hunting. So grab a paper bag and come along. It's Thursday night. I'm Fred Trost, and it's time for Michigan Outdoors. OK, that's plenty. Well, I tell you, the past few days, the wind has been howling 60, 80 miles an hour in some areas. We're going to have to duck into the woods. I know we probably have some microphone noise here, Tree. But you say that right off the highway, this looks like a good morel hunting spot. Yeah. Why? Are power lines, are these openings any good for mushrooms? No, no, but uh, the woods behind it, you've got an older woods back here. Uh, and a lot of times you might find mushrooms along the very edge of the woods. It's sort of, sort of a, a fence row kind of effect. You mean along the edge of where an older woods comes to a meadow or something? Yes, exactly. Okay. What about aspen stands? I thought you looked for like young aspen stands. They aren't any good? Uh, aspen stands aren't, aren't notorious for morels. Uh, elm are. Mm -hmm. uh, stumps. Um, older woods decay. Uh, today we'll probably be looking for a slightly lower swampier area. Okay, well, we're going to do it. We'll duck out of the wind now and get into the woods. Okay, now the mushrooms that we're talking about are morel mushrooms, sponge mushrooms. There's two different types. There's the black morel that comes out early, which right. is what we're looking for right now. Exactly. And uh, the, actually, there's four different types that grow in Michigan. The black ones come out first, and they end up with the, the large, sort of blondish colored ones that grow up to 10, 11, 12 inches tall. Mm -hmm. The ones that we're looking for today probably will be... Uh, two to three, four inches uh, tall. Of course, the white morels come out later. What about mid mid May? Uh, they'll be about two weeks after the after the black ones come out. Mm -hmm. So we probably have a four to five week picking season. That's one of the enjoyable things about mushroom hunting is some of the flowers you see here. You know what this one is, tree? I'm not sure what that yellow one is. Here's a uh, there's some wild violets here also though. Oh, right over here. Look at these. The woods will probably be just full of these in another week or so. Trilliums, jack in the pulpits, a lot of really pretty flowers. Nice to be out at this time of year. Oh, yeah. You know, Tree, those, uh, those woods up there with the wildflowers have the appeal of mushroom hunting, but I don't know about this business. This is getting a lot like hunting. It's not all fun. But it's all enjoyable. <laughs> Not fun, but enjoyable. <laughs> well, here we are in a little bit of a clearing through the thick stuff. We've lost some of the beauty, but what have we gained? Why are we here? Well, we're here because it's a beautiful day, and, and we're outside, and everything smells good and looks good, and the taste of the morels is the main reason why we're here. But why did we have to crawl through all this brush? Uh, actually, places where the most inaccessible places seem to be where morels seem to hide. Is this early season? Are, are we in a, a sort of a swampy, marshy area here because it's early? Yes, this, this is the very beginning of the season. These, the the morel, morels we're looking for now will be the black ones, the first ones out. Mm -hmm. So we want to get to the low, moist areas. Are we low enough? Can we start looking now? Or? We, uh, I've been looking. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll start looking too now. The hunt is on. Whoa, oh, over here. We got one, Larry. Look at that. Right here. 
There it is, a black morel, the first one of the season for me. I know you found them before, look at that. It looks so beautiful right there. It doesn't hurt anything to pick them too, because they're... Pin, pinch them off at the base, that's the best pinch, way to... Pinch that off? You want, you want to keep them as clean as possible in your bag, because in case you do find okay. enough to dry, you want them to be as clean as possible. You're not going to wash them. Okay, now, there should be more right around here. Where we found one, the best, the best thing to do is just uh, almost sit in the same spot and look around. You'll probably find more. Okay. What about that over there? There's one right there. Okay. Ah, you see it, Nick? Okay, look, see it right? Boy, they are difficult to see. It looks like a little mound of black dirt. Now, can you follow right up through there? Can you point it out with your stick there, Larry? Aha, oh, that was just one. I thought I saw a whole group of them here. Oh, there's, there's another one. right one. there. Okay, right there's here it is. one over there. Right, here we are. Go ahead and pick that one, Larry. You take the honors. Pinching off at the base. Okay, now over here. There's one right there. Here's one. Oh, this is getting fun now. Down on our knees. Oh, another one right here. Right here. Okay. Oh, look right up there. Right here. See that one right up there? Oh, this is. This is all right. Now we're having some fun. I know it. Now isn't this? Didn't forget all. This, forget you know, all about that bad. Uh, honestly. Land we just went through. Honestly, this sounds silly, but my heart gets beating about like deer season when the deer are coming <laughs> through. This is fun. It's really like one giant Easter egg hunt. Mm -hmm. For kids of all ages. Okay, let's look for more, for some more. See how many we can accumulate here. I don't know if we're going to get a bag full. I don't see any more. I think they're gone. I tell you, it is so difficult looking through the leaves, all the shadows, the dark areas. I see one right back over here, Fred. Do you? Okay. A little bit bigger. Bigger? Yep. See it sticking out over here? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, a dandy. Look at that one. Can you see it there, Dick? Look at that. Hunting the elusive morel. Something anybody can do, a paper bag. Some hiking shoes, long sleeve shirt. Oh, you got some more there, Tree? I got another one over here. Okay, I'm going to put the microphone down. The hunt is on. We just found some in this area. Ah, right here, right here. Look at this. They are so, you know, they are pretty. They are, they are. They cool. really are. They're, cl they're so clean. Here's one right next to it. Oh, yeah. How about that? Do you expect to see more than this? Uh, you know, we're sort of st starting to range, you know, 15, 20, 30 feet from the last one we saw. Should we be concentrating on this area real close, or? They seem to run in veins. And uh, you, that, again, that's usually where you find one, although they're, they're all singles. You've noticed mm -hmm. them all been singles, but usually where you find one, I notice as we're looking, or as we're talking, we're, all, we're both looking different directions well, along the ground. Yeah, the, the, the tape story here has got to end real soon. <laughs> We've got to <laughs> load up the bag. I've never ran across, uh, across this much success right off the bat early in May. This is probably the best I've had this early also. A good sign. Maybe the fishing went to pot because of the <laughs> high wind and cold weather, but the mushrooming looks great. This is super.